Okay, we're going to start our study of public school law by looking at chapter one, which is kind of the legal framework that affects public schools. The United States Constitution is over 200 years old and continues to serve as the plan for the American government. It is considered to be the supreme law of the land. One of the most significant aspects of the Constitution is the Bill of Rights, which provides information regarding the individual rights of U.S. citizens. The Constitution also places restrictions on the powers of the government in relation to citizen rights. Students of school law should gain an understanding of the legal system that affects the operation of public schools, and since schools are considered government agencies, they are impacted by federal and state constitutions, federal and state statutes, and court decisions. Now, as you read this chapter and consider the content, the chapter will cover the basic sources of law and the relationship of each source of law to the operation of public schools. Now, each state has the responsibility to provide a free public school education for all children who reside within the state. And the ultimate goal is to produce an educated citizenry that will benefit society. I hope you will enjoy